Well, I was checking on eggs and babies because we have a bunch of Hannah and Stripey babies. I think that video will already have come out by the time this one does though. We'll lock them up, let them keep coming out. But then I noticed in here, our fox snake eggs have started pipping. There's a baby in there. Oh, you tucked in. Okay, well, as you can see, three of the eggs went bad and that one looks good and that one looks good. And his face was just out. Dude, you tucked back in. Come out and say hi. Dude. Dude, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. There's a baby in there. Hi, friend. Aww, he pipped it. He pipped it, which means soon we get to cut that one. That's that a he big. Yeah, that's a huge egg. Come on, twins. <laughs> Before we begin, I'd like to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. With how much Ed and I are working at our facility nowadays, it's become a daily challenge to plan our meals. <sighs> what do you want for dinner? I don't know. Gummy octopuses? No, I don't think we can have that again. I don't know. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Cheyenne, what do you want for dinner? I don't think she knows either. We just don't have time to go grocery shopping anymore. By the time we leave the shop, everywhere is closed except maybe a fast food joint. Well, everywhere is closed except Taco Bell. Pretty much. You can have Taco Bell seven days in a row, right? I mean, we are adults, so yes? I may or may not have been caught stealing another reptile's food from the fridge. Hi, Hannah. Are you hungry? Well, I think everybody's hungry right now. Who's in the fridge? What are you, what are you doing? Those are the bearded dragon strawberries. There's no food for people in this building, okay? There's a squash. You could have a squash. But with HelloFresh, fresh ingredients for healthy meals are delivered right to your doorstep. Their meals only take about 30 minutes to make and the ingredients are pre-portioned so you don't have any wasted leftovers. Hey, hey, no, I need that. Really, uh, Nelly? <laughs> I don't want that piece anymore. You sure? Well, there it goes. Now you're not getting that piece anymore. <laughs> Another thing I love is the packaging they use is made out of almost entirely recyclable or already recycled materials. If you'd like to try HelloFresh, you can get 14 free meals on me by going to the link in the description below and using the code SNAKEDISCOVERY14. I've actually been a subscriber of HelloFresh even before this sponsorship, which is why I was so excited to work with them, because HelloFresh truly has saved Ed and I a lot of time. Cheyenne likes to try the meals too. Do you want some chicken? Mmm. Do you want a green bean? Mmm. <gasps> Tasty green bean. They have vegetarian, carb smart, low calorie, and pescatarian options too, actually. No, 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 no. You don't get that whole piece of chicken. Here, have a green bean or a little piece. Okay, fine. We'll compromise. You can have that and I'll sneak in a green bean. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Mmm, green beans. Oh, tasty. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow, she's eating it. Again, just go to the link in the description below and use the code SNAKEDISCOVERY14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping on us. Thanks again HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video and let's see some baby snakes! Alright, it's been a little while and now we're going to cut the remaining egg to see if the baby's good inside, but first, take a look. Ready? First baby is... Out Aww. of the egg! Wow, that didn't take him long. No! You were quick once you pipped that eggshell. Oh, hi! Uh, hi, little fox snake! Oh my gosh, I forget how grayscale they are as babies. Now, do they have a white jaw? Uh, they're a rat snake technically, so they should. Hi, cutie. How are you? You just, like, don't want to move. Oh, he's still got some, like, uh, umbilical cord. Oh, yes, he does a little bit, don't yep. you? So you still gotta hi. dry that up. Are you sassy? Oh. oh, you tried to strike and you failed. I mean, you kind of did, but you fell. Oh my gosh, for a species that's usually really docile, it's funny to see them do this, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you're trying to be fierce. There isn't even a tail rattle, like, they are so different from bull snakes, but he's trying to be like a bull snake right now. He's just not very coordinated enough to I'm do it. I'm so mad at the world, I'm gonna bite you. <laughs> you are so cute, the way you're trying. Uh, let's see. What were you looking at? I totally forgot. Oh, the umbilical cord. Yeah. Oh, actually, the white jaw. Oh, white jaw. Uh, yeah, kind of. I guess, yeah, it is. It just has some lines. Yep. But other than that, it's a white jaw. Okay, okay. All right. Well, I'll set you in there. There's and nobody then... else in his egg. Uh, oh, that's a good point. Let me get some tweezers. All right. Do you have any siblings in your egg? 
or is it empty? We do have a weird knack for getting twins here, it seems. Oh, geez. I was paying attention to you, not the camera. Oh, it's okay. Uh, nope, no siblings in his egg or her egg. Nope. But what about this? Oh, there's a little bit of a tail buzz. No, oh, are you trying to buzz your tail? Oh, you are buzzing your tail. He's trying to be so fierce. He's just too stinking cute to be able to do it. Okay, so let's check out your sibling. Let's open up this egg. That's right, these were the season's eggs, weren't they? Yep. Okay, so he was rainy, Sp rain spring? Uh, wait, oh, well, oh, this was weather. Weather, that's what it Snow, was. Snow, rain, sunny. And something that molded. Something and that molded and something that molded. Something, oh, that's a paper towel. Oh. Yeah, that so. was just to keep humidity up. Well, rainy baby, uh, <laughs> hatched. <Yep>. You're <laughs> trying. <laughs> okay, and then snowy baby, let's see. This is a big egg, too. Yeah, it is. Goop looks good, it's clear. That's an interesting thing to come out. Oh, and then get sucked back in. Oh, it's from the pressure in the egg. Ah, okay. I'm like, that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Again, they have veins running across the egg, so it happens to cut it. They cut it themselves when they're trying to get out of the egg. Yep, so if you see a little bit of blood, that's normal. Not cutting the baby here. They're resting on the bottom of the egg, so that's why it's safe to cut on the top. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, weird. Weird. Let's brush this bubble aside. Is there... I mean, there's I mean, definitely... I see a baby. Definitely a baby. Are you responding? Uh, you're not, not responding. Really. That's not good. Mm. Okay, like, that's a really stiff yeah. baby. It's weird that it went full term, then. Yeah, it looked like such a good egg. This egg looked better than his, honestly. So, I mean, we'll give it, I guess, a day, but he is really stiff, so I don't have high hopes. Nope. So we'll put this egg back, and we will check back tomorrow and if he hasn't hatched we might kind of look or we'll investigate a little bit further yep but we have one cute little baby fox snake i still think it's adorable how hard he's trying to be fierce yeah oh all right we'll check back tomorrow well it's been a day and the second egg still hasn't hatched. So we are going to figure out what's going on inside of this egg. To give you all a fair warning though, this is probably gonna be pretty gross. The good news is baby fox snake is doing really well. Hi little baby. Is the umbilical cord dried up? Uh, good question. Uh, yeah, nope, still, still there. A little bit. Yeah, he'll take care of that up. though. Yep. Okay, well. Here is egg. Uh, it kind of spilled a little bit, so definitely a squeamish warning right now. I'll put a timestamp on the screen when it's after this cutting. But let's dissect this for science. I have the bleach water ready to clean off the counter. Oh, weird. And it smells disgusting. It does smell pretty gross. All right, well. Ugh. Oh, it smells even worse right now. Yeah, that wafted out. Yeah. I'm gonna do this, and then I can stand further away. Okay. Glad I have a poor sense of smell all of a sudden. Whew, that's just getting more and more ripe, isn't it? What is inside of this? Oh, there's a face. Weird, it looked like it was a fully formed baby in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out though. It's definitely a dead in shell baby, but what confuses me is that looks- Fully formed? Looks fully formed and healthy. Let's just uh, go ahead and pull the whole baby out. That's a huge smell baby. Is, uh, oh, it's starting yeah. to take over. Oh, 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 the smell. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. That's just yolk. Just yolk still in there. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, fully formed. I don't see any kinks at all. It looks perfectly healthy. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird that it didn't make it. But I mean, this is, I guess, the downside to breeding. This is what you encounter from time to time. And sometimes you just, oh, that smells. Sometimes you just never know why things like this happen. But the good news is we have one healthy baby from this clutch. So yeah. let's go back to that one. Okay, let's check out our little baby fox snake. Hi, sweetie. Are you gonna be a little bit better behaved today? Yeah, I'm gonna be better behaved. You seem a little bit calmer. Are you getting used to us, maybe? So something we noticed, and today we're going to set up the baby bin for this little cutie. Girl or boy? Are you a girl or boy? Uh, girl, it looks like. Um, something we noticed about her is that she seems to have a cleft lip, or she does have a cleft lip. Interestingly though, it's in the same spot that the rat corn we produced a couple years ago had her cleft lip. So I wonder if we can get a shot of it. Can you kind of see it there? It's just so odd. I mean, she seems totally fine otherwise. 
it's just interesting that she developed that. I don't know if it was something to do with the fact that we didn't find this clutch of eggs right away, or I think some of the eggs may have gotten rotated a little bit at some point. Incubation seemed to go fine, although it was interesting that one of the eggs fully developed but didn't hatch. The others that kind of were sluggy to begin with didn't make it, which is understandable. I am not convinced that it's something genetics though, or genetics related, because with a sample size of only one, it's hard to attribute that to the genetics or the genes of the parents. So we are still going to breed the parents again to get a larger sample size with a larger clutch. And of course, if we see more abnormalities like this, then we would split up the pair and not breed them anymore. But I still want to give them another chance. And this little girl will just have to adopt out to a good home. Yep. Pet only, of course. Yeah. Not breeding. <laughs> but she is an absolute sweetheart now, it seems like. She is so adorable. And I think we're going to set up her baby bin. For that, we're going to put a little hide in the back, one of those sugar packet containers that works perfectly for a little snake hide, a baby snake hide. And I think she deserves a flower. Let's give her a leaf. We'll put her water dish up there. A couple rocks to slither around and help with shedding. And then soon, we're gonna be giving her her first meal, actually. But for now, we're going to put her back and set her up in her little baby bin. And let's see who else is in the baby rack right now that she gets to be a roommate Adjacent with. To. Adjacent to it to. Apartment buddies with. Okay, baby fox snake, welcome to baby snake apartment complex 2021. We've expanded babies, haven't we? Yeah, we have. This is awesome. I hope that the neighbors above you, the bull snakes, aren't partiers. <laughs> yeah, they will be. Yeah, they probably will be. And hopefully the blue beauties below you are... Aren't Karens. Aren't Karens, yeah. <laughs> that little fox snake is stuck right in the middle of two <laughs> sassy species of snakes. Oh well, she'll figure it out. Yep. Well, that be our surprise clutch of fox snakes this year. We had one cleft lip baby hatch Aww, from she's it. so friendly. She is a sweetheart, though. Like, oh, what don't a, don't oh. come near me. You're scary. Oh, she's a mama's girl. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Aren't you a good girl? <laughs> well, we are going to make sure that she's eating well on frozen thawed. We're going to feed her day-old pinkies. She'll be able to handle the whole thing, I'm sure. And I doubt that cleft lip will cause her any difficulties in eating because we've had a snake before that had cleft lip, and it was just fine. So after she eats several meals... I think we'll be adopting her out. Here's Mama, very proud Mama. This is Vulpix. We've had her for a long time. Thank you for the surprise clutch of eggs, girl. Your baby is adorable. Look at the color difference, too. I think it's interesting the head stamp, or the head difference. Yeah, yeah, like you're they right. They must grow into that orange head. Yeah, oh, they definitely do. Yep, uh, fox snakes are known for being kind of dull colored as hatchlings, and then they get this beautiful copper colored head as adults. And copper colored body. Yeah, really. the entire body is just beautiful. So she's really going to grow into these colors nicely I think. But thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to our very generous Patreon backers as always. You help us with our baby setups here tremendously and we'll see you next time. Yay baby fox snake. Aw mama baby. One together. Oh my gosh that's adorable. <laughs> Go away baby. But mama I love, love you. Love me.